Well, hey guys, welcome to the video, and it's finally time for me to install the run cam split into the Martian 2 frame that I have here. Now I'm running the 30 amp uh, fly color ESC combo package with a flight control board and the Rush FPV VTX. Now, uh, the biggest challenge for me is that this board runs off of 5 volts and nothing else but 5 volts. So I'm going to need to find a way of getting 5 volts out of that stack. Uh, or the VTX and running it into my run cam because if you run anything other than 5 volts it will fry the board. Now uh, one of the first things I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and install the um, the micro SD card here so it's a pretty easy process here on my micro SD card right here and let's see here we get this to focus here so I'm going to just slide this open you'll see it pops open so it's not a slide in um, card like you might think, uh, which is all, all, which is actually a good thing. So that means that it's not going to pop out on a hard crash. So what you're going to do is line everything up here. I'm doing this through the camera, so it's very hard for me to see. So you flip this down and slide it over, and that is my. This is a 32 gigabyte um, SD card that's going to be recording all my HD footage. So if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically an FPV camera that also records HD. 1080p and 60 frames per second. So let's go ahead and get into this. One of the hardest things for me is going to be relocating my VTX probably back here because because the stack is so high, this is, this is where that board for the run cam split is going to sit and I don't have any more vertical height left over. I do have a little bit of room underneath this uh, this bottom board but not too much. I could lower that down if I really wanted to. Okay guys so I ran into a little bit of a snag so the the VTX uh, which is right there the Rush VTX only outputs 12 volts and also the main board only outputs 12 volts which is going to fry my board if I don't use something else so I'm taking off the uh, Rush FPV uh, VTX and I'm going to just use this standard Ishin uh, ET526. Um, I'm going to run 12 volts from here and you can see here it outputs DC 5 volts to your um, to your camera so it's not going to fry the camera so I'm going to hook up a um, so I'm going to solder a lead here uh, servo lead and I'll solder this to the board or put a connector onto it. Okay guys so you can see that I have the run cam split board here where my old VTX was and I have the camera it's got a pretty much the exact length that you need. If you need a longer lead, you there is one that comes with it. And I'm going to hook that up to this VTX. I'm going to go ahead and solder on a servo lead, which is going to connect into this, which is going to my camera. to explain what I have going on uh, for the setup for my run cam split so basically I'm gonna be getting power from my um, my flight control board through this little lead right here this is gonna supply 12 volts going in which this VTX takes between 7 and 24 volts and so I'm gonna get power in through here which is gonna be nice because this could be filtered power as well I think this VTX does its own filtering as well um, coming out of the VTX is going to be, excuse me, the video in is going to be coming from the camera, which I'm going to plug into here. Video in is going to go here and out to my goggles. There's the ground and the power for my camera, the power for the split is coming off of this right here, DC 5 volt out. So I'm going to test this with a voltmeter first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and we'll see if I am indeed getting 5 volts out of here. And if that's the case, I will plug in the run cam split. Okay guys, uh, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in the, well I actually have the run cam plugged in here and when I plug in I should get a little bit of a blip on the screen. Hopefully nothing blows. I tested everything, it shouldn't uh, blow up. So let's go ahead and plug this in. It looks like I have something there, which is good. I just need to tune it into the channel. Cool, something went beep beep beep. And that is the that is the run cam making that noise uh, when it powers up, which is kind of cool. It sounds just like a regular run cam. So I'm just going to hold this and tune into my channel, which should be 5645. Yay, and we have video right on. So that is pretty cool. Um, so the buttons, let's see what the buttons do. 
so I am getting a video as you guys can see here. You need to make sure you power your board at 5 volts. So basically I'm just going to put this on here, take this camera out and mount my VTX and I should be ready to go flying and I can show you that video in just a second. This is already set up from the factory as uh, when you power on it automatically starts recording so you can turn that off as well. So let me see how I get into the OSD setup mode. I hit the first button here for a long press to get into this. So. So Wi-Fi to enter and go back and hit the power button to go next. So I'm going to hit the first button to select that. Uh, power is going to be next. So loop recording should be off. And so enter back, auto recording. I'm going to have that. I'm going to switch that to off. And the wide dynamic range should be set to on and it is. So I'm going to hit enter to go back. You hit a long press on the top button here to go to the next thing. Let me go to the image. You see uh, how it's going to be next. I can hit enter. Exposure, image flip, metering mode, field of view. Um, I'm just going to leave that all as stock. Hit press and hold this. TV out, micro SD card. Let's see what this says. Format the SD card. I should probably format the SD card. Then completed. Okay, so I'm going to hit and hold this, and then going to go back. Sorry about the beeping, guys. General. And that should be it. So I'm going to press and hold and get this, get out of this. Now we're back to the regular um, screen again. So I'm going to go ahead and install this, guys. I'll put you on time lapse, and uh, so we'll stop this beeping. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna point this out. Um, if you'll, if you guys follow Albert Kim, he's a buddy of mine. He installed uh, this camera in a similar frame to him. Now, the field of view of the HD camera is much, much wider than a, uh, uh, the, a standard FPV camera. So when you have the camera pushed down into the frame like this, you're gonna get some of the standoffs and maybe part of the top frame in the video. So I know as I'm, vi as I'm mounting this right one, I'm going to probably go to a different mounting system. I'll probably do what Albert did and uh, actually use this metal bracket um, mounted down here on the front. I just want to do a quick and easy install right now so that you guys can get up and seeing what this thing looks like, seeing some of the HD video. So uh, the, the installation was just that easy. Just take this camera out and put the other one back in. Now if you already have a board that supplies five volts to your camera, all you really have to do is unplug it from this and plug it into the board. It's that simple. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my uh, VTX sitting back here somewhere, probably coming out of the back of the quad. And so I'll put you guys back on time. So as you can see, things look really nice and clean. There is the split in the front there. Uh, this is the split board right here. This is the final bit of the build here. Uh, my VTX is kind of just jammed in here. Um, I'm just using this one as testing. This little heat sink came off and kind of went wonky on me, but uh, I just need to cut off this, um, this uh, zip tie here. I'm just gonna have the VTX running out the back like this. It shouldn't be... Um, um, bunch of a problem. I'm not when I take this out for its first flight. I'm not going to go crazy with it. So I know I'm supposed to probably be using a uh, a pigtail here. So I'm not going to break my VTX. This is just an old VH VTX that is stuck on one channel. So I'm just this. Like I said, this is my Martian two. This is a just a test rig. So so one of the nice things about this, uh, which is immediately noticeable, is that I don't have this giant chunky thing on the very front of it. And also my Run Cam three is not on going to be on board. So this is immediately going to. Um, eliminate about 12 15 grams here and then also 70 grams for the uh, run cam 3 70 grams I is it 40 or 70 I, I can't remember exactly what it is but as you can see I do have uh, the the video running from the run cam split very very cool uh, I think the colors look really nice so far just on this little handy monitor okay guys so stay tuned for the flight video which is gonna be coming up really soon I'm gonna try and get a flight in tomorrow and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining my channel.